Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. I'm very happy that you found me. My name is Kelly and I'm a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And I put out a lot of different types of reselling content like thrift hauls, what sold videos, and helpful tips and tricks when it comes to managing a reselling business. So if that's the kind of thing you like to watch on YouTube, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below. I really appreciate it. In this video, I'm actually going to show you my inventory process and how I keep track of all of my inventory and all of my sales using a brand new application that I created and it's called Thrifters Scorecard. And it is now available for everyone to use at thriftersscorecard.com and it helps you keep track of all your inventory and all of your sales specifically for resellers to help them organize and make their business more efficient, especially when it comes to inventory and sales management. If that's something that you're excited about, hit that thumbs up and we will get right into it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I log my inventory in Thrifter's Scorecard. So to start, you go to your card deck, which is kind of like your home page, and you'll see all the different areas that you can go to. Um, we're going to want to go to the Add Inventory page since that's what we're going to be doing. And once you go to the Add Inventory page, you'll see this little form to fill out that has all the item information um, about this specific item. You can fill in as much or as little as you would like. And like it says at the top, you can always change it and add more later. Um, which is helpful, especially when it comes to cross-listing. You can add different platforms and things. Um, but just remember, like, the more information that you put into the app, the better your insights are going to be about that item or brand or category or whatever it is. So the more you add, the more you get. But for the sake of this example, I have a pair of page jeans here that we're going to be adding into my inventory. So I'm going to type in the item name and I'm just going to type, oops, if I can spell, page skinny jeans and the brand is page obviously and there it is as you type the results will populate and you can choose the correct one and then insert your cost of goods and in this case my cost of goods were 350 for this pair of jeans and I'm also going to add a category and subcategory and so click on the category drop down and I'm going to go down to clothing, shoes, and accessories since that is the majority of what I sell. I visit this category a lot. And then the subcategory will populate with different types of clothing, shoes, and accessories. And there's a quite a large list. It's probably the biggest list on here. But you'll see if you start typing the word jeans, it will go down to jeans there. So that does help narrow down that big list. And now you can also add a platform or a list date or a SKU code where it'll be stored in your inventory. And we'll go over what those different types of open SKUs and new SKUs are in a second. But for me right now, I'm just going to add this item into my inventory I haven't yet washed the item or photographed it or put it away in my inventory um, in my bins. So right now I just want to document that I have it purchased. So with that, we're just going to click the add button and you'll get the success message. And now we can go and view it on our inventory list. So we'll go and view our inventory scorecard here and you will then see it at the very top page skinny jeans with the brand page it cost $350 and since I didn't put in a list date it's going to say it's not yet listed and obviously I didn't say it's on any platforms or again like there's no SKU assigned to these jeans yet. Alright so now we're going to update this item now that I have it photographed and I'm ready to list it so we're going to click on the item name and it's going to bring up an update page or the edit window where you'll see all the information about this item that I just entered and you can add to it or change it. And But I'm now going to add a list date. Let's say I'm listing these today, which is October 16th. We'll pick that date 
and I'm gonna list it on Poshmark and eBay right now. And you can see there's a very large list of different marketplaces that you can choose from. I'm just gonna be listing it on Poshmark and eBay to start. I'm also going to assign the page skinny jeans a SKU code. And SKU codes are your custom inventory codes that you understand so you know where to find the physical location of the item. So maybe you have different bins and you number them or letter them. This is that code that you will identify the item by. So there's a couple kinds of SKUs in Thrifter's scorecard. Open SKUs will appear in this drop-down box. And these are all of your SKUs that have an item in them previously, but that item has sold. So I sold a previous item that used to be stored in location J3. But since that item sold, J3 is now empty and I can put something else in J3. So instead of keeping track of those on my own, the app will keep track of those for you. But if you say, you know, I don't want to put these page skinny jeans in, you know, any of these open SKUs, I'd rather just type in a new one and maybe it's, you know, I'm going to store them in my closet instead. So I'm just going to write closet there so I know where it is and then click update. Now that it's updated, you'll see the SKU is named closet, so I know where to go find it. And since I just listed it today, you'll see the number of days listed and the platforms. Awesome. Now, what do we do when this item sells? When this item sells, you're going to click on the cash icon over here under the column that says sold. And you'll click on this stack of money and it'll bring up a new pop-up for you and in this window you'll get some information about the item where to find it again in your SKU um, just so you can go retrieve it and get it ready for packaging and, and shipping to your customer and then it also reminds you which platforms you've listed it on so you can go and remove it from the other platforms so it doesn't accidentally sell there so just an extra little reminder for you so you don't end up selling the same item twice. And now we have to fill out some info about the actual sale. So in the panel on the left, you'll have the date, which will, um, let's say they sold very quick and it sold today, the same day I listed them. And they sold for $30. And let's say they sold on eBay. And I'm gonna choose eBay because it is one of the more complex windows, you'll see the Poshmark screen, very simple. The Mercari screen is very simple, but eBay is a little bit more compi complicated, and that's mostly just because eBay itself is more complicated. So I'm going to walk you through how to kind of navigate this eBay window. So there's really only a couple things, even though it looks like a lot. First, you're going to say, how much did you charge the buyer for shipping? And on eBay, I always charge my buyers for shipping. And in this case, I charged them $5.99 for this item. Now you also have to tell the app how much you had to pay for the shipping label. So the buyer paid you $5.99, but when you went and purchased your shipping label through eBay, how much was that shipping label? And in this case, it was $5.00 and two cents. So I made 97 cents off of shipping, as you can see. So those are really the basics of really what you need when it comes to marking something as sold that's sold on eBay. Now you can also insert any of your eBay fees here as well. You can find these on your account page. Um, when you go into your seller hub, just navigate to your account and find your fees for the specific item. You can add all of that information here if you'd like, or you can add it later, and I can again show you how to do that. And some people don't keep track of their individual eBay fees for each item. They just kind of lump it all together at the end of the month, and whatever works for your business is awesome. Like, you keep doing that, but these options are here for you in case you do want to keep track of the fees per individual item. 
So let's mark this item as sold and then we will go see it in our sales scorecard. So you just click mark as sold. Cha-ching! And now we're gonna navigate to our sales scorecard. And one way you can do that is just clicking here. And it's thinking and it will bring us there and wait for things to load. Okay, and so if you scroll down, you obviously have all of your um, stats and graphs about your sales, but if you scroll down to all sales, you'll see at the very top is our page skinny jeans that just sold. So you'll see some similar information. Sale price was 30, the cost of goods was $3.50, and then it's gonna calculate your net earnings and your profit based off the information you put in on the last window about any platform fees and um, any shipping costs as well. So if you wanna edit any of this information, maybe you do wanna go in and add your eBay fees, which we didn't add before, you'll click on the name just like you did previously and it'll bring up a very similar looking window where you have all that information and you can change any of it if you would like. So maybe you're like, no, I do wanna add my eBay fees. So you go into your account on eBay and say, you know, add up all the fees for that item and say they were $2.20 of eBay fees. You would put them in this platform fees box. And then again, there's the 97 cents that I made off of shipping. So it's negative because I made money because it's the buyer's shipping fee minus the actual shipping cost. So you'll see that, don't be alarmed by the negative number. We put in our platform fees and we're gonna click update. You'll get the success and it shall close the window and then you'll see these numbers adjust accordingly. So that is basically how to go from adding your inventory all the way through marking an item as sold within Thrifter's scorecard. Okay, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed checking out Thrifter's Scorecard with me today. If this app is something that you're excited to try out, just head on over to thrifterscorecard.com and sign up. It does come with a 30-day free trial, so you can really test it out for a decent amount of time before you commit. And then after that, it's only $7.99 a month. I would love to hear in the comments below what you think about the app and if you think it'll help transform your reselling business like it's really transformed mine. And with that, I will catch you later and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone.